Prince Harry and Meghan now reportedly have a combined worth of $60 million, £49 million. Prince Harry is reportedly trying to amend damning parts of his tell-all bombshell memoir in a bid to reconcile with the royal family following the Queen's death. However, it remains unclear whether the Duke of Sussex can still edit the book, with some royal commentators saying it might be too little too late. Author and Vanity Fair royal editor Katie Nichols says a cancellation could still be in the cards but it would mean handing back an advance of £17.5 million to the publisher. When asked whether the book could be stopped, the royal author told GB News, anything is possible. And it could potentially be stopped but that's going to involve him giving that £17 million back. And given one of the key reasons they left the royal family was to be financially independent, how are they going to make money? They do need to make money, they're both relatively wealthy in their own right. Ms. Nicol added, but they're not that wealthy that they can just afford to give that back. There's a mortgage, there's a lot of things to be done. I haven't seen his contract obviously. I would imagine having signed my new recent book contract myself that there is a get out clause, there usually is. But you can't take the money and execute the get out clause. The first book, which could be released by the end of the year, is part of a £35 million four book deal with Penguin House. Using the get out clause would mean losing all the profits associated with the release of the book. According to Celebrity New Worth, Prince Harry and Meghan now have a combined worth of $60 million, £49 million. But the couple have several major investments to pay back like the palatial mansion in the Santa Barbara neighborhood of Montecito, which reportedly costs a staggering $14.6 million, £13 million. Since the Queen's death, speculations have swirled around the book's release and what Prince Harry might do to avert a deepened rift with the royal family. While some claim the Duke is scrambling to make last-minute changes, others said he could scrap the book altogether. Royal biographer Tina Brown believes the memoir will never see the light of the day because it will destroy any chance he has of reconnecting with the royal family. The book was originally slated for release in late 2022 but was reportedly pushed back to 2023. The royal family is also reportedly hugely nervous about the book. Tom Bauer, author of Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, noted how the upcoming book is a time bomb. I think that everybody knows that the Sussexes can't amend the book in any way, he said. Can they make it nastier? Because otherwise, we wouldn't get sales. Bauer added that a chapter will be added about the Queen's funeral and will contain more material about how, Harry and wife Meghan Markle, were snubbed. King Charles III wants to read the Prince's bombshell memoir before giving his kids, Lilibet Diana and Archie Harrison, royal HRH titles. Nicol claimed that the new king has allegedly been reluctant to make any title changes for Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1. We know titles matter to Charles, and he reportedly wants to limit them to the top tier of royals, the book reads. Would Charles go as far as barring Archie and Lilibet from becoming a prince and a princess now that the Sussexes are no longer working royals? According to a source close to the king, it depends a lot on what happens in the coming months, particularly with Harry's book and their TV show, Nickel wrote.